Welcome everyone to another one of my uh, Adobe Illustrator tutorials. This is another part of the design element series. And uh, I try to keep them really short, really brief, just show you how to make a simple way to make one simple object or design element. <coughs> but uh, today is going to be how to make the universal no symbol. And it's real quick and easy, and I'll show you how to make it. So uh, stay tuned here. Yeah? So we got our artboard open. I've got a 19 by 20, 1080 artboard. It's I call it HD, yeah, and that's my artboard. So anyway, to start with, you want to go over here, and uh, actually you can hit L, which is the keyboard shortcut for the uh, ellipse tool. You hold down your shift and alt. You go down to the center here, and it'll intersect and put you right in the center of the artboard. And you hold down shift and alt, and you drag out a circle. You can also hit your D key to default to a black stroke and a white fill. If you hit X and then you hit the forward slash key on your keyboard, that will make the fill to nothing, zero, no fill at all. So uh, the second thing you want to do is you want to select your uh, line segment tool, which is your, uh, your backslash key on your keyboard. That's a shortcut. And you place it on one of your anchors here. You hold down and shift to drag it out to keep it straight and intersect it with the other side of the circle. <laughs> and that also, since you've already set your uh, stroke to black and your fill to none, it's the same color. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go Control A to select all the art on the art, art board. And then uh, Control G to group these, part, these two objects together. Now what we're going to do here, the stroke is at one pixel and we got a black stroke, no fill on each of those objects. So we're going to go up here and we're going to just go to 40. And 40, well that's not quite as thick as I want. So you can place your uh, cursor inside the uh, stroke uh, dialog box there. And you can just simply tap on your up arrow key and go up on your uh, stroke width. So you get something that you like here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 72. So we got a uh, stroke of 72 on both your, your, your single line and your circle in there. The next thing you want to do is you want to go down to object and you want to expand. And this will expand your fill and stroke. Hit that. Now you've got two uh, like open uh, paths, closed paths. And you go up here to your pathfinder, which I already have out, and you hit and merge both of these. So now you've got <coughs> basically what you want. So for the no symbol, we want to make it red. So we go over to our swatches with our layers and just fill with red and no stroke. So there you go, that's part of it. Now you select that on a single kind, so I think it's a compound path. Yeah, it's a compound path we have here. <coughs> you hit R on your keyboard, <coughs> and it will default to the center. And you just drag out here, outside the area, hold down the shift key, and it will snap at 45 degrees. So there you go, now you got your alt symbol, your on universal no symbol. Well, a universal no symbol has to say no to something. So, just for a simple example here, we're going to put a triangle in there, and we'll, get, we'll go to our Alt uh, V, just press start here, and if you have your smart guides on, you can hold it down, just tap in there, and say you want a three-sided triangle, we'll make it 200 picks, say OK, and then you can hit down S for scale on your keyboard, and drag out, <coughs> and hold down your shift key to make uniform uh, scaling. Now uh, we want to put this, the uh, our compound path on top, and we'll fill this with blue. And now what we've got, we've got our universal no symbol. Of course, you can go in here also, and you can align the key object, get it all centered up nice and right, nice and neat. Optically, that's probably uh, that's probably correct geoma geometrically, but optically it's not. So we'll. Uh, We'll go in here and we'll uh, make it look something more something, a little more uh, presentable. And so there you go. There's your universal no symbol that's saying no to blue triangles. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, be, look forward to more of my design elements with Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe. Thanks. I'm out of here.